Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys may be bored of them, but I am doing a, another recipe video today. So lots of people are very excited by my homemade pizzas. I really love my homemade pizzas and my homemade pizzas have kind of got a legendary status within my family. I know my mum loves them. Um, and I did a specific pizza in school and I've finally managed to recreate it and find a really good recipe for it so today i am going to be showing you how i make my pizza so without any further ado um we're gonna get straight into the video and we are going to make pizza can i just say before i get into the video i know i don't say it very often um i try not to anyway but 73 percent of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed um and it would be really nice if you guys could hit that little subscribe button down below and even put the bell on for notifications when i bring out my videos that way if you've just found my channel you don't lose it again and if you do enjoy so certain videos please do go down and like it so that I've got a gauge on what kind of content you guys really enjoy and what kind of content you guys don't enjoy so much so that's your way of giving me a little bit of feedback so I can create the content that you guys really enjoy so a little self promo there that would be really great if you could do that but without any further ado we're gonna get straight into the video I have is here I did take it from another recipe and I halve it because I find the full recipe is a little bit too much just for Morgan and me so I will Morgan and I I will just leave this here if anyone wants to pause it and coffee it but it's 325 grams of flour seven grams of yeast two tablespoons teaspoons of salt so i just put like a, a pinch of salt because i find that a bit much 12 ml of olive oil 25 ml of milk and 160 ml of warm water so without any further waffling we are going to put all the ingredients together and then we let it sit for a couple of hours so i'm going to go for a dog walk and then i will be back and we we will get straight up with it so yeah let's get making the dough should be fun i hope you guys enjoy so I have mixed all the ingredients together which I showed you before and now I just like to knead for a bit just for the sake of keeping it clean I kind of keep it in the bowl but if you want to take it out the bowl to knead it then that's great as well and you may even get a better result um, the water I used was quite warm but I haven't found a problem with that before So I'm just going to get on with kneading this for a few minutes and then I'm going to put a cover over it and leave it for a few hours to swell and for the yeast to do its thing and then once I've done that I will put the toppings on which I think everyone will agree is the most exciting part of making a pizza. So I'm just going to carry on with this for a minute. Now that I'm done kneading, I'm just popping a plate over. You can put a cling film or a tea towel. I just like to use a plate because it has the least effect. I'm not throwing any plastic away and I don't have to wash it after. So I'm now just gonna leave that here and take Buddy for a walk, get on with a few chores. And then once it's risen a bit, I will come see you guys again. We can have a catch up and um, make our pizza. Hi 
Hi guys, so, hey Robin, hi. So, um, I've left the pizza dough to sit for a while. The first thing I like to do is, pause my washing machine. Um, the first thing I like to do is split it into two because I make a pizza for me and a pizza for Morgan. So I literally just get two balls and you want that nice stretch on it, right? So then I just like to press it out like this for a while and then I'll put it on the side and I'll put my palms into it and um, we will see a buddy and a rubbing and um, I just stretch it out into a nice round pizza base shape. And then I basically just add whatever toppings that, that you particularly fancy. It really is that simple. Um, so I'm gonna get on with this and then show you guys the toppings I have in a minute. I have puffed out my pizza bases. I've just got some tomato puree and I give a good squeeze on here. Um, and like I said before, you can use absolutely anything you want on your toppings. You can make it as healthy or as unhealthy as you would like. So I've got a good bit of tomato puree on there. And then today I normally use red pesto, but I just have some green basil pesto here. So I'm just going to add some of that. Hopefully the flavours don't clash too much, um, but it would be a shame if it was to go to waste. So I just spread it around like this, just to, uh, well, spread it around. Um, and I just find this really nice. There we go. Very, very easy. Just a bit more on that one. This is maybe slightly weird because of the green pesto. Um, I do actually have some real basil leaves, um, but they are still quite young. So soon I'll be able to put fresh basil and fresh seasonings out the garden on here but this is what we're having today right. so that is the base of it and then you add whatever toppings absolutely any topping you want um, to this and you make your pizza. So I'm going to time out to you guys with my toppings and let you go what, let you know what toppings I have at the end. Um, and I will see you guys in a minute once I've done all the toppings for my pizza. Enjoy. <laughs> As you can see, I made my pizzas, I did my toppings, I forgot to put them on the tray before I filled them, did all the toppings, so that was a bit of a palaver. But I had my pesto tomato base, I added tomatoes, red onion, courgette, pepper, buffalo mozzarella, or mozzarella, I don't know if it's actual buffalo mozzarella, mozzarella and a little bit of ham yay so that went really well really pleased with it it looks really tasty we love our pizza morgan eats them all the time and he's always requesting them my mum has also requested um my pizza recipe um so and other people know about my pizza i don't know why like i don't know why people love my pizza so much but apparently people love my pizza which is great i love it when people like the food i make for them so um that's in the oven i will show you guys once it's all cooked and done and yeah i will 
check in with you in a bit. Right guys, so this is my final pizza. Right guys, as always, my pizza turned out really well and I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's a really great recipe, super simple, super easy. You can keep your pizza healthy. If you've got kids which really like pizza, then this is a really healthy way. Maybe you can get them involved with it. Um, and also I will say you can freeze the dough um, as long as you give plenty of time to defrost it you can't defrost it in the microwave so you can always make your pizza dough and then have it ready for a rainy day where you just want to defrost it have a quick easy pizza make it a fun family thing or whatever you fancy and equally it's just a really nice way to have something that feels like a treat without it being as unhealthy and you can obviously take the milk out if you want to and you want to make it vegan um, and you can take the cheese out or get vegan cheese so you can do lots more with it and you can fit it around your lifestyle a lot more and you can make mini ones you can make big ones you know a really great thing would be to make mini ones for parties so there's lots of options for the pizza go back to the beginning of the video where I showed you the recipe and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!